Thank you, thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Brunel University London. My name's Claire Lynch, I am a professor in English Literature from the Department of Arts and Humanities. And it's my great pleasure tonight to introduce our first set of speakers for the 2022 public lecture series. It's a really exciting one tonight because you've got a kind of bonus double feature because we've combined the first two sessions. So just a quick note before I hand over to my colleagues. What will happen is the four speakers, don't worry, this isn't just how bad is the English professor, one of the speakers is online, I can count up to four, okay? The four speakers will speak to us and then I'm going to ask them all to come back to the stage and we'll do a Q&A session in which, excitingly, we get to throw around this cube that's got a microphone in it. Okay, so motivation to think of a question just so that you can get a go of that. Okay, the speakers will pass on to one another, so you'll see them kind of speak in turn, and then it will be all back to the rest of us for discussion. So I'll hand over to them. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming this evening to this uh, first public lecture series for a little while at Brunel University London. These lectures are going to be on fertility in the 21st century, and this first lecture. Um, it's a mega lecture and we have combined the, the biology and the biochemistry around um, fertility and infertility and discussing that with respect to, to age and aspects of where um, conception, etc. Can, can go awry. So we have four lecturers this evening. I will be one of them. I'm going to be record that lecture in a moment. But uh, I'm a, unfortunately, I can't be with you. I'm in Gloucestershire and life once again has got in the way. But thank goodness we now have technology to overcome distance and uh, lack of presence in the room. So I hope you're going to have a good evening. I'm just going to go over the reasons why we wanted to give um, this public lecture series and why we thought it was important at this time in history. So um, it is aimed at people that are interested in fertility, people that are planning to become parents in the future or presently, um, even grandparents gathering uh, of, or future grandparents gathering information. Um, we think it's important to understand what's going on behind uh, fertility biologically um, um, and the, with the biochemistry around the hormones and, and the vitamins that are required. Um, it's also quite important um, these days to realize that even though in this century there are a lot of uh, procedures and preparations one can use to, to make oneself look younger, and there are lots of attitudes around sort of being younger within society as you age. However, the biological window for fertility hasn't changed. And so that um, needs to be considered when thinking about career or putting off having, uh, having a family till the future. Um, so we're going to look at that, but also then there are some ways that science has come up with and also around nutrition and alternative therapies that can extend that biological window. And I uh, just have a, we'll, we'll touch on that too. Um, and so we can start to, to see what is possible with the knowledge that that biological window is pretty set in, in stone so far until science comes in and, and performs some interventions. But also people are having um, career choices, different career choices. Maybe people uh, want to do uh, certain careers that take a long time to get established or they're chopping and changing career and need to establish themselves in, in different um, places or different uh, types of career. Um, but also then, so where does the law sit with that? And how can you um, work, get the career that you want and the family that you want as well and how that works. And so we'll have a, a, lecture, a lecture on that as well. But also there these days, there are environmental impacts on our fertility um, from different uh, pollutants and, and drugs that are in the system. And so we will look at that as well and how that can be mitigated and, and corrected for. And then all the new developments are on the horizon 
uh, all the different things that are coming up through research labs and science and, um, and, and what's going to be possible in the future. We will look at that in the very last lecture in, on the 14th of December, but also we will have a look at some very exciting research that's coming out of the laboratories in, at Bruno University in biosciences and environmental sciences. Uh, so I hope you can join us for all those, those lectures. That would be fantastic. And they'll be running every two weeks with at this time in the evening with then refreshments at the end um, that are associated with good health and good fertility.